Here we are about at the tip of the property, right at that um, busy three-way intersection that we have two uh, frontage roads on. We've got a hard corner there and that light, uh, light rail goes right close. It is within walking distance and it goes right into revitalized downtown Dallas. Uh, people take that to get down to work, um, save some time, take the train goes north and south, east and west, right into Fort Worth, into Carrollton and Plano. We've got all this cleared area, which is available for buildable square foot, buildable square footage. And you can see how easy it would be to clear out some of these small trees and the um, bushes to just build property here. Still, a lot of great traffic. Traffic count right there. We're going to be getting 116,000 vehicles per day off of the interstate. 14,000 and 13,000 vehicles per day on the intersection right there. Just too awesome. Come along. Come along at honorswaygroup.com. We have a lot of beautiful evergreens in the front of the property. Those would be beautiful. Think about keeping them so they are in January beautiful all year. That would be awesome. A few of these, but you can see that the land is mostly cleared naturally. And we just uh, cut this grass down and use it as buildable square footage. You don't have to do it though. As a passive investor, we'll do the work and you can get the benefit. We work together as a team. Look at how great that traffic is on an afternoon, a slow afternoon. And look at this nice clear land up here. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see if I can get a shot of across the street. That's a view from across the street. Very nice. Okay, back into civilization. There's one of our fire hydrants, electrical box. We've got our utilities on site. Big clear area for uh, buildable square footage. Nice, easy grass to cut down and uh, use it for buildable square footage. There's a our utilities right there, the gas line and uh, raw water line where that car just went by right in the middle. There's a little dirt road right now. So we've got um, probably eight utilities on that tip of the land. Just awesome. Plug and play. Plug and play, man. Plug and play. Here's a nice clear shot of the frontage of the property two frontage roads which is so cool no right-of-way uh, easements on the property and um, we get the advantage of the drive-by traffic as well this is a quiet afternoon <laughs> so uh, but yeah look at all that great land to build on um, we are ready to uh, plug into the utilities and get going um, put your money to work today. So this is the utility. Um, it's just a little dirt road that I was telling you about. And you can see how clear it is. Again, the uh, all the cleared space at the front of the property. Some bushes that can come right out. You can use all of that buildable square foot. But uh, we've got our gas line here in the raw water with the clean water line right here and uh, about eight utilities on that tip of the property. Nice and easy. So, yeah, we're back into civilization here. Um, wanted to show you this frontage, this other frontage that we have, which is fairly clear at the uh, front of the property. I think we have five fire hydrants on this side of the property. 
and two or three fire hydrants on the other frontage. Um, nice cleared land out here. We do have a lot of cleared land that we can work with while we keep some of those trees that the city wants us to keep uh, or replace. But uh, fiber optics, MCI, Sprint, um, clear water, sanitary sewer, storm drain. Um, what else do we have? Across the, the way, there you see some bikers on the uh, light trail, light train, bike trail on the light train rail. So, within walking distance, our revitalized downtown Dallas tenants can get right on the train across the street there. They can also go down to uh, Plano or they can go out to Fort Worth. Hitting lots of job markets, guys big opportunity. We're going to stabilize fast, lease up fast, we'll pre-lease as soon as we get the first building up and we can start um, enforcing appreciation with a cost segregation study uh, as soon as we get the first building up. Too cool. Come along. So let this car go by. This is the middle of the one frontage that we took a look at at the last video. And um, we've got a little bit of a slope, but the neighboring property, the contiguous property, put uh, planted grass on it and let people walk around. And small golf course. A little bit of a slope there. We just leave it and grade the interior. Here are, you see our telephone poles and electrical poles, fire hydrants, so you know we have water on the land. And we have wooded area across the street from us. Um, that orange pole right there in front of the fire hydrant is fiber optics on the, fiber optics on the land. Pretty cool. Plug and play. Okay, cool. I was looking for this. It is uh, the uh, one of the surveys does show a dilapidated pad on the land, and it looks like there's a little bit of a pad over there, and um, pretty close to the front of the road there. But wanted to be able to find this. We'll tear this out, or yeah, use it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It looks like it's actually in pretty good condition. It's held up over the years. We'll see. Somebody did live on the property before. They live close. So they're a good resource to what has happened on the land. They said that they did not put a um, septic tank on the property. So we'll find that out. We'll validate that. The uh, with the phase one and a little bit of a pad over there through those bushes. This doesn't like these bushes. Nice walk on the property today. Living it. So the good, the bad and the ugly, but not too ugly. <laughs> it's been livable before. Good. This is good. This is good. Good vision from the property to across the street. This is our view that our tenants will have. Okay guys, hey, last section of the uh, site walk today. Nice walk. And this is, there's a little utility property, but look at those beautiful electrical poles. Electric right on the property. Amazing, 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 amazing. So we are back here and you can see very easily that we can leave trees on that area and put a nice buffer for our tenants. Um, we've got actually two sanitary sewer manholes right there as well. So that is really a big deal if you don't understand construction and new development to have all these utilities on site is such a cost savings for the project and it makes our numbers 
sing. Um, I, we looked at a property in a different city that had the sanitary sewer um, 5,000 linear feet away from the property. It didn't have the infrastructure that this one does. It was clay uh, pipes and it had to be upgraded to PVC. You know, we're talking about a million, million and a half dollars to do that. So let us not underestimate the power of having all of those utilities right on our site and uh, the availability of that. We can put trees there that will cover most of that. But look at what our, con our neighbor did, our contiguous property. They put grass in the ground. They're letting people walk around. Small golf course, great way to handle those rolling hills. And uh, you can see the stabilized property and how they have, um, the units have been there for, for decades. Um, that's your typical Class C. Some of the units have been renovated, some not because it's a classy apartment complex. They don't want to put too much money into it and overbuild, like we won't overbuild, but the um, apartment sizes are small and they're full. All the apartment complexes um, in, Dallas is ha in Dallas have about 97% occupancy right now. So this is what they've done with their land. We are right on the, we are right on the, uh, grid and remember snow vid last year well we are uh, maybe a quarter of a mile an eighth of a mile from a big medical center and that is a good grid to be on in terms of making sure that we have uh, electric and water and all the nice things that we need so come along with us this is a great view and I'm gonna leave you with that view so time for some hot apple cider yeah let's uh, have some popcorn and hot apple cider today and uh, come visit us at honorswaygroup.com and uh, join us today in this great adventure we're going to force appreciation on this land infill in dallas 23 acres take care talk to you soon